Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a Windows 11 virtual machine in VirtualBox 7. So VirtualBox 7 now has TPM support, so when you install Windows 11 you don't have to do one of those workarounds uh, to avoid the um, error with unsupported hardware. And so it'll add the TPM automatically for you depending on how you're installing Windows. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So first we're going to do a Windows 10 VM just to show you the difference. So we'll do new. Let's call this Win 10. We're not going to go through with the installation and everything here. And then you can pick your ISO image. Let's say I have a Windows 10 right here. And then if you do the unattended install, you could actually put in a username and password for the account and the product key and the host name and domain and all that other good stuff and mount the uh, guest editions ISO at the same time. So we're going to skip that because you don't have to do it because this is just a demo. Let's just go with whatever the defaults. You could bump up the RAM and processor like normal and then the... Uh, Hard drive settings, you could change that as usual, you know, use an existing disk. So now that that's finished, if we go into the settings for that virtual machine, system, and you'll see TPM is set to none, and you could do version 1.2 or 2. So now, let's do a Windows 11 VM. We'll do the 22H2 ISO file. We'll skip the attend unattended installation. And then for hardware, we'll just bump this up since we're actually going to start an installation here. And that's fine. So we'll click Finish. So now if we go to Settings for this system, you'll see you have the TPM automatically added because it read that it was Windows 11 from the ISO file. So if it doesn't read uh, the operating system properly from your installation file or if you're doing it from a CD from your uh, shared hard drive, then you could come in here and add the TPM automatically or automatically but manually. All right, so let's start it up and just make sure it uh, gets past the uh, point where we normally fail if you don't have a TPM. Okay. So normally this is about the point where it would fail saying it's not supported. Okay, so you can see it got past that point, so it's doing the installation, so everything will work fine after that. So once again, when you just you know when you do your new VM, once you pick your ISO file, it should uh, re recognize that it's Windows 11, and if it doesn't, just go into the settings after you create the VM, but before you install Windows uh, system, and then go to TPM and just pick your TPM, most likely 2.0. And then you'll be able to install Windows 11 on VirtualBox. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.